Deadpool and Wolverine boast god tier healing factors that effectively make them immortal. As no matter the severity of the injuries they suffer, both Wade Wilson and James Logan Howlett are able to bounce back almost immediately. However, the nature of their respective healing factors, while identical on the surface, couldn't be more different, and those differences lie with how each of them got their healing factors to begin with. Wolverine was born a mutant, and one of his superhuman abilities that manifested from his mutation was a healing factor. Logan's body repairs itself rapidly after he suffers an injury, and it also constantly works to keep Logan perpetually healthy. Sickness, disease, and even the adamantium poisoning from his metal lace bones are all held at bay by Wolverine's healing factor. In other words, Wolverine is always in peak physical condition as his dead cells are replaced with living ones practically as fast as they die. Deadpool, on the other hand, is the exact opposite. Deadpool was not born a mutant, but is instead a mutate, a human who became a mutant through experimentation. When Wade Wilson was diagnosed with terminal cancer, he signed up for Weapon X experimentation. Weapon X scientists found a way to attach the healing aspect of Logan's mutation as they had Wolverine's DNA catalogued to Wade. However, the cells Wolverine's healing factor attached itself to within Deadpool's body were cancerous. That means whenever Wade suffers an injury, Deadpool's body replaces those dead cells with dying cells, which, themselves, are perpetually being replaced by other dying cells in an unending cycle. 